What's up guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get higher FPS in DayZ or Arma 2 Operation Ahead and Arma 3. So the first thing you want to do is go in your start and to documents, Arma 2, Arma 2 OA config, and you'll change GPU max frames ahead and GPU max f or GPU detected frames ahead both to 1. I think 1's at like 3 and 1's at 1000, those should both be 1. And the next thing that you want to do for Arma 3 is open up your Arma 3 config and do the exact same thing. Max frames ahead and detected frames ahead both to 1. And now I'm going to show you my settings. Alright, here are the recommended, my recommended settings for Arma 2 and DayZ. So what I've got here is the texture detail. I've got on high. But it really doesn't make a difference between high and normal. Very high is quite a big difference and could slightly alter your FPS. So high is a good spot for that. Video memory should definitely be on default. Because on anything else, it doesn't put your video memory that you have. Like 2 gigabyte graphics card. It doesn't put your memory to its max. Uh, and it's dropping filtering. I keep it normal. But it doesn't really matter. Disabled. There's no no big difference anti-aliasing should definitely be disabled because that could be a matter of like 20 to 30 fps depending on your system atoc i have at all trees and grass just because i think it looks a lot better a lot nicer up in the it's got the little shadow on the bushes and stuff terrain detail same thing with texture detail it could mean on normal and high it doesn't really matter object detail normal that can uh that affects how far away objects will render and how well they look so normal is fine shadow detail very high will affect your fps really badly like it'll it, probably 20 fps difference so i keep that at normal um hdr quality that's normal it doesn't really matter fxaa uh i've got that on high but doesn't really make that much of a difference it depends it's really personal preface it doesn't matter with your uh, uh, settings or anything it won't mess with your FPS post process is the motion blur I don't know I don't really like it interface size this does not matter but vsync should definitely be off unless you have a monitor that could because uh, certain monitor because high FPS could tear your screen so whatever uh, this stuff doesn't matter quality preference I have on very high just because I'd like my visibility to be up um, interface resolution should be the same as your 3D resolution or whatever your monitor resolution is. So mine's 1440 by 900. So I've got that. And yeah, those are my recommended settings. For Armor 3, it's pretty much follow the same thing. Keep turn anti-aliasing off, all that stuff. And it should be just about the same. So with these settings right now, I'm getting about... As you can see in the top left, I'm getting about 120, 130, 140, but this is not in high, like, intent, highly intense situations like firefights or going in cities. Going in cities, I get probably around 40 to 60 FPS. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope this worked very well for you. Hopefully, you noticed a difference. And See you later.